Video. Oh. Wave. Does that not take pictures? No.
Melissa. Hey, um, let me think. How do I do that? Well, you can hand it to me when you're telling it, picking everybody outside, and I'm running up to. Uh, How do I propose to you, though? Oh, that, we'll just go over to him and get it then right now. Okay, let's do that. Well, he's talking yeah, loudly. Like, uh, I'm like, uh, uh, <laughs> hey, Erica. Hi. How are you? Okay. Um, Go away. Go away. Where is that? You better good it. Huh? Thank you. There. Nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Is it phone? Is the phone in there? You go ahead and start. Okay. Uh, okay, everybody come in. I don't come on in. Have a seat. She doesn't look like anybody. Oh, we're gonna soon. have to do. We're gonna have to do the like little thing we were talking about last night. Somehow. You know what? So here's the deal. I was pumped and ready to go. Her best friend called and said she couldn't make it. Well, the kids could just sit over there. Huh? The kids could just line up over there. That's fine. Hi, Kev. Hi, Hi Jay. Hi, guys. Thank you for coming to our birthday party. Forty. I just really wanted to celebrate with all my favorite people. So, thank you for coming. I'm glad everybody could make it. So, I can like point to each of you and say things I love about all of you and. That would take all day, so we can talk later. <laughs> <laughs> but I love you, and I'm happy, and I'm so excited to share brunch with you, and you know, it's gonna be a fun day. So anyway, we love you. Love you. <laughs> love you, Brandon. All right, same thing. Thank you all. To you guys, the y'all gang is here. I appreciate that. So. Pretty much the same thing that she said. I appreciate you all being here because this is a really big day for me, for you. I love you. And I want to marry you. Yeah. <laughs> you married me? You want me to say it? We're gonna do it right now. Let's go. We're going outside. Come on. Gotcha. <laughs> you had no idea, did you? Oh, you might have thought something. No, really? Oh, Go out. Oh, 
You're fine. <laughs> By the way, Mom, this is our pastor, Sam, from the Mets. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm <laughs> Do you have any idea? Had no idea. <laughs> no idea. So. Uh, I'll do it after oh, the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fine. Way it's a little unconventional. So no, we were trying to. You guys move. That's for Mama and Papa. That's at home because we were oh, getting no. everything because we were late. Yeah. So we were getting everything, and she goes, "Did you get my dress?" And I was like, "Are you kidding me?" And we were leaving Edmund. <laughs> well, uh, her friend Amy uh -huh. was. They live in. Why? Don't walk through. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. I know. <laughs> Family, just sit down. Take an awkward amount of time to open and let us into the elevator. Standing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oh, so First floor. Look at that. Mom! Ray, please rise. Oh, Hottie. <laughs> so cute. Finley, come here, please. Come here. So my name is Sam Powers. If you hadn't guessed, I'm a pastor. And uh, so I'm uh, Kyle and Ashley's pastor at First Methodist in Edmond. And you may have thought you were coming here to celebrate their birthday uh, this weekend, but we're actually here to celebrate their wedding, the covenant that they're going to make together. So Kyle and Ashley come today in our presence, in the presence of God, to make this covenant of marriage together. And so uh, Kyle, I'll ask you first, um, will you have Ashley to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Absolutely. All right. And Ashley, I, I'll ask you, will you have Kyle to be your husband, to live together in marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Yes. All right. 
At this time, I thought it'd be appropriate to read from uh, selected verses from 1 Corinthians 13. That's the love chapter uh, that we hear a lot at weddings, and it's important to hear these words. Not originally written for a marriage. Uh, it was really originally for the church so that we could figure out how to get along with each other. But if you can't begin to practice these things at home, uh, where can we practice? So this is perfectly appropriate to hear uh, at a wedding. Paul tells us that love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. Love is not irritable or resentful. Love does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. And now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. At this time, I think uh, Kyle and Ashley are going to exchange their vows before one another. Go ahead. Okay. Wet. <laughs> so, him and then kids, or take a break, him and me, and then you talk and then kids, because I have stuff to say to the kids. However you want to do it. Okay, we'll you do go. us. Okay. 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 Sounds good. Kyle. In you, I have finally found all I never dared dream I could deserve or have. The kind of love that is rare. Being known in a way that touches the deepest parts of me. Accepted in a way that blows my mind. In you, the love I have always desired to give now has a place to call home. So long. I have been a skeptic, but you are my undeniable miracle. The questions don't matter anymore. We found each other and that is enough. I have always and will always love you unconditionally, without regret, without fear, and without hesitation, with hope and kindness, and with consideration through the bad and the good and through thick and thin I will hold your hand and you will hold mine and we will live not happily ever after but happily and lovingly and together thank you my turn your turn okay actually I wrote down my vows like 20 times and I threw them away this wasn't supposed to happen we met on match, and I never thought I was going to get that. That was so dumb. And then I had a friend go, just try it. Just try it, you know. And I found you in two weeks. And the, yeah. you, I came to your house, and you walked out of your room, and toys were everywhere. And I looked at you, and I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to work for me. I don't want to, I'm not going to make a promise. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to love you forever. I'm going to love the kids. I'm going to love our house. I'm going to love our, whatever we do, our job, our friends. Everything, everything has to do with my world is you. It starts with you and it ends with you. And that's how I'll live for the rest of my life. Whether I pass on first or you, you will always be it. You were it from the beginning. You've been it for six years. You've probably been it for 43 years. I just didn't know it yet because I was done. I never thought I would get married. And here I am. And it doesn't seem like it's been that long. It seems like just yesterday we met. You've seen me go through some rough stuff. I've seen you go through some rough stuff, some deaths in my family, some deaths of my friends, and you were there. You could have left me so many times when I did something stupid, and you didn't. You just took care of me, and that's what I wanted, and I never knew I wanted that, and I found it in you. You're my best friend, and you will be for the rest of my life, and I love you more than anything. And that's all I have to say. How about you? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Finley. We've been a family already for a long time. This makes it official. Okay. <laughs> ben, I want you to know how lucky I feel every day knowing you. I promise to love and support you alongside your dad and mom all the days of my life 
I promise to be here for you and to listen to you and to respect you and to guide you and teach you. I'm so thankful you're part of our family and I get to be your bonus mom. Hmm. Two moms. Two moms. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Come here, guys. Finley, come here. Stand right My there. life began when you were born. You were the greatest gifts and my true joy. I promise to continue to love and support you all the ways. <laughs> Intermission! We didn't quite get I didn't think about time. it. I didn't even think about it. Do what? It's just Oklahoma City telling us that we're good. That's all. <laughs> so. Unless it gets stuck. Yeah. That's why I love you so much. I don't know. Wouldn't it be wonderful if Jesus came right now? <laughs> it is before it was official. <laughs> no, it's official. Oh, okay. Well, we I mean, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. It'd be a celebration. <laughs> Travis, don't you know anybody that you could have called and said it? Call somebody. I mean, you work for him. <laughs> you know a guy, right? Weddings have trumpets and some have organs. <laughs> they had an air raid siren, so that's all, right. that's all right. And if you knew our lives like we do, it's perfect. Yeah. It's like we're just. Okay, come back over here. All right. Here come here. No, no. Come here. Good. I'm talking we're talking with you. Okay. Oh. My life began. You're the greatest gifts. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I promise to continue to love and support you in all the ways I can for all the days I have. I promise to teach and guide you and help you become whole humans, but most of all, yourselves. That's, that's the last all. <laughs> Yay. Yay. All right. Finley?
I'm gonna say. Oh, I'm not oh gonna sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So Finley, your grandmother gave me a birthday card one year, and it said, "You are your, you were my first love, because you were my firstborn," and I will always remember that. And that's what I will always think of you, because you are my firstborn, and you're my first love. And Gracie, that's right. Gracie. You are my princess. You are still my princess. I always wanted a daughter, and I got one. And I'm so glad it's you. And I know we argue and we fight, but I love you so much. I love you all so much. Jack, your kindness, you have such a... Stop! Stop! You have such a kind soul, and you're just nice to everybody, except for your brother and your sister, and I'm okay with that. You're, you're gonna grow up and be a great man, and I'm gonna be there to watch it happen, and I'm so happy for that. And Jeffrey, I potty trained you. I taught you how to swim. I can't wait to see how long your hair stays perfect. It's gonna be perfect till you're probably 80 years old, and it's, it's amazing, and I love you guys so much, and I wanna do everything with y'all, and I just, I'm so glad that I'm in your life. And I, the greatest thing that your mom could have given me was you guys, and she did. And I'm so happy. It's been an awesome six years, and it's going to be an awesome 80 more. Maybe a thousand, who knows, with science and technology these days. I love you all very much. And that's all. All right. The rings. Oh. You. Oh, I have one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can take it back off. All right, let us pray. Thank Gracious you. God, we know that. The giving of these rings uh, are part of your blessing because they represent the covenant that Kyle and Ashley make today. And we ask that you'd not only bless these rings, but bless uh, their time together, their marriage, and all the days that they wear them together. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, if you take the ring and place it on Ashley's finger. We'll, we'll wait. Okay. So go ahead and place it and then repeat after me. Ashley, I give you this ring. Ashley, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You better get on there. Better get on there. Oh, you did it. No, I did it once. Yeah, that's right. First. Awesome. That's so awesome. God, I love you. Repeat after me. Kyle, I give you this ring. Kyle, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 All right. So you have declared your consent and vows before God and all of these friends and family that have gathered here today. And so. I ask that God would confirm the covenant that you've made today and fill you both with grace. And so now that Kyle and Ashley have given themselves to one another by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. And so Kyle, you may kiss the bride. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And they're giving away. And so. <laughs> and so it is my privilege and honor to present for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Kyle and Ashley Phipps. I think lunch is ready for us. Oh, yeah. Probably been ready for a little bit. Congratulations. Welcome. Now I did get to call you dad, dad. Oh, what you do, even when you're fighting, just remember he's there for you, for and after anyone, even each other. Thank you. Thanks, guys. So happy. So surprised. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thanks. The spinner's coming off. Thank you. If he wants to be. Hi. <laughs> Surprised? Yeah. Wasn't ready for that one. Thanks. I know.
We've oh, been. You nearly had a meltdown. Oh, oh I was like, that. here it is. I even told Jason, I was like, this is this is the reason it's not gonna. Oh, I saw your piece of paper where 